so we've got another mod today now on the website this claims to add around five to ten horsepower depending where you put it so that's that's just what the website claimed I'll, uh, I'll show you what we've got we've got instructions on how to install it and we've got Right, so we're going to install it, take it for a spin, and see what the difference is. Right, let's go test it out. Monday Robin Hood. So yes guys, welcome back. Now today I've been really excited for uh, for this to arrive. I ordered it a couple of weeks ago and it had to get shipped in from America. Uh, so we ordered something from Corksport. Now for those that don't know what Corksport is, uh, I'm not sponsored or anything like that, but my car when I bought it actually came with a Corksport exhaust system on it. They're like a Mazda specialist. And yeah, they pretty much just specialize uh, in Mazdas. So we ordered something from Corksport, uh, something that I'd say this car needs and I think it will make a, a really, really nice difference um I'll, I'll go over the reasons why after i've showed you what we've got so we've ordered a short shifter like assembly so i'm not really sure what you call it it's not a short actual shifter but it's the it's all the bushes as you can see metal bushes for in the interior where your, your gear shifter is and then also we've got a shift plate which goes in the engine bay so I'm, I'm i'm really really looking forward to getting this on the car and seeing uh, seeing how it's changed it we've got the weight for the uh, shifter plate there so that's what we're going to do today we're going to get on with it we're going to install this now reason being and the reason i think this car needs it is because one there's quite a bit of play uh, in the gear stick right so instead of talking about it i'm actually going to show you so as standard the obviously this is a 2008 car so it's not going to be perfect but so there's like a decent amount of play in your in your gear stick as standard now like i said the car is getting on a bit it's uh, 2008 but another thing with these is um this is this is a common thing on mazda 3 uh, mps's when you're ragging it and you go into third it can be a bit like i don't know what the what the correct word is but it can be a bit stubborn going into third and sometimes you can grind it sometimes it just won't go in and you have to carry on and it's just this this what i've ordered stops that so i've looked at a couple of tutorials on how to install this on youtube and i'm going to give it a go myself i'm not going to get anyone's help unfortunately my dad's got work today or he would be out here on the driveway helping us um so yeah it's just me on the on the video today we're going to get this installed and i'm not going to take it for a drive because i've not got an essential trip to make so i might just make a separate video when i have got an essential trip to make and tell you guys what it's like and do another like drive in the mps video but for now we're going to rip all this um all this center like console bit out um take it all out and we're going to do the bushes first and then this part which is the like the shift plate is just under the air filter as you can see down there that's where it is located so we're going to have to take all that off that's the standard weight at the minute and corksport have got a uh, got one in the box but yeah i'll probably just take this off uh, or maybe just try and move it out of the way for now but yeah that's what we're going to be changing later in the video so yeah i think we should start with the bushes see you in a bit key worker have a good day at work see, your gears. see you in a bit geese see your tubers i'll crack on <laughs> okay right so uh, as i've seen on any of the tutorials it's pretty much oh okay it is that simple uh does this all just come out as one yes it does oh mazda you've really got it simple for me oh what we got any uh anything interesting i'll give that hoover out in a minute but okay that comes out pretty easy uh then we're gonna have to take the gear knob off which i'm absolutely loving this gear knob from cob lovely bit of kit uh and i think you meant to pull it from down here Adios. oh it's a bit nerve-wracking boys 
Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need two hands for a lot of this, but I'm just gonna get the hoover out and give this a little clean in here, because I'm assuming that's never ever been, uh, been took off. Okie dokie, so um, the bushes we're actually looking for are these ones down here, so there should be four of them. So one there, uh, one down there, I don't know if you can see that, yeah, one down there, other one is just there, and then the other one is under there. So we're gonna, go away. We're gonna take uh, take them out and replace them with the uh, cork sport ones, which shouldn't be a major task, but I'm sure I'll make it into one somehow. So yeah, let's, uh, let's just give it a go. Okay, they're all out. And what we wanna be removing is these little silver bits, because they're the actual, um, well, they're not the actual bushings, but they're, you need to remove them to get uh, the, the actual rubber bushings out because these ones are metal, so these ones aren't going to have any play in them whatsoever, uh, whereas as these ones uh, that are in here are rubber, so they have a little bit of play, so when you're doing all this shit, there's play in it. So we've, we've, we've got this whole assembly loose now, and uh, we're just going to try our best to get these out. Now, I've just got a little flathead, and I'm going to see if I can pry it up like that which looks like I can like I said I can't film much of this because I'm gonna need two hands and I can't really set the tripod up in here but I think that's pretty much out so yeah I'm gonna just go ahead and get all these uh, all these bushings out and uh, we'll replace them with these ones so they're the uh, little silver like holsters for the bushings or whatever you want to call them and all we're left with now is literally just the rubber Bushing. So I'm going to rip them out and we're going to replace them with the uh, sick ones. Hey bro, do you know what the Titanic was thinking? Yeah. <gasps> guess, who was, guess what the entertainment was still doing bro? Still playing on the boat? Still playing on the boat while that's, shit went down. That's, that's, that's very true, so when shit hit the fan the entertainment was still going. <laughs> that's exactly the one mate, they were the last ones going down. Only, only Wes would <laughs> make that up, only Wes would come up with that. <laughs> So these are the original bushes and as you can see rubber flex very easily which will result to play in your shifter and we're going to replace them with these bad boys. Now these go from the bottom up and then the washer clamps them down so obviously like I said I'm not going to be able to film it which is just annoying me but um, we're going to get these on and then we're going to jump on to the, uh, the engine bay and do the the shift plate so yeah it's a little bit tedious the one that's uh, the the most annoying that i'm losing my patience with is the one at the very back here because as you can see there's not much access in there but the other three really really simple can get to them really easy this just folds out as well uh but yeah i'm gonna do my best and we're gonna get this done we're all in uh, i'm just gonna tighten them all up and then i think we're we're done with this part so yeah let me uh, tighten them all up and we'll uh, we'll see if it's made a difference so far so already there's, it just feels a lot more stern and solid now. There's no play in it. It doesn't feel loose. It feels pretty notchy now. So, uh, yeah, that's that. I'm going to put all that back together and then we're going to go and uh, do the shift plate. So I thought it was uh, just worth mentioning while I'm here. Once you've done this, if you are following this video or um, if you're looking at doing this, once you've finished it, you should be left with four of the silver bushes and four of the black rubber bushes not really sure what you'd call them but you should be left with four of them and you should be left with four of them so yeah out with the old and uh sick right let's actually make it a shorter shifter okay so just for the camera i'm going to get a little before and after so okay one two three four five six Let's crack on. All right, so first things first, I'm just going to start with getting a few bits uh, out of the way. Uh, unbolt this bolt here and take the cone off, and then it gives us access to the uh, actual shift plate. This is the like OEM shift plate. This is what we're going to be uh, replacing. So as you can see, this is the weight, and this is just the, the plate. So we're going to take the actual linkage off uh, and just replace it all. Okay, so actually, this bone thing stays on, and you actually kind of replace the original one so i'm going to undo the weight and uh, then we're ready to put the uh, cork sport one on the old weight is out and we're in the process of installing uh, the new one so the old linkage as you can see 
uh, doesn't actually get used anymore so that your, your actual linkage goes on to the new one now this is the uh, so this shift plate it can go from 20% shorter to 40% shorter so if, if I was to have this all the way to the left then that would be 20% shorter uh, with it being all the way to the right that is 40% so we're going all the way to the right full send uh, so you want to just put your linkage back in and then we're going to put the counterweight on and see what it's like we're all back on everything's tightened up let's jump in the car and see what it's like fingers crossed i've done it all correct and nothing's going to go wrong nothing is wrong so let's have a look oh my god oh my god that's so short like literally oh my god guys that's sick <laughs> That's seriously short. Oh, I really want to take it for a drive, man. Right, I'm going to just put everything back together and uh, we're going to wrap the video up. But Jesus, that's made like, that's seriously short. That's shorter than the Revo one I had in the EP3 for sure. Like, that's really, really short throw. That's going to take some getting used to, I think. But yeah, like I said, let's, uh, let's put everything back together, wrap this video up. And then when I find a reason to leave the house for an essential trip, I'm going to try and do like a driving video on the way to wherever I'm going. Um, I know I know Wes made that joke earlier, but you've got to understand if I've got to go to Tesco or something to grab something for my family, I might as well try and make a video out of it on the way there or stop off somewhere on my own. The good thing is we're doing YouTube. I don't have to have anyone involved. It's just me out with a camera and I can make the video. So I hope you understand that. I'm just trying my hardest to keep making videos and the driveway scenery is getting a little bit boring. So I'm trying to mix it up a little bit. So yeah, I, I, I'm, I know how serious this coronavirus stuff is. You don't need to remind me in the comments. So yeah, just, just know that so i hope you guys did enjoy this video uh, if we were in normal times i would go out and i would show you what it's like in the same video but due to the circumstances i've got no reason to go out today so i'm not going to bother um, so yeah the mazda 3 mps has now got a short shifter and it is seriously seriously short i'm going to go inside now and edit this video and then the next video we'll go out take it for a drive uh, on the way to somewhere and uh, we'll see what it's like so yeah hope you did enjoy this one please remember to like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one Peace.